Hey everybody, Pete here with the River Kings and today I'm gonna change your life and I'm talking about your cam straps. So if you're like me, for the longest time I just had a bucket of cam straps and they were everywhere. Every time I needed to get one, I was untangling them, trying to pull them out, trying to figure out how to do this and then I decided to get serious. I have a friend, Steve, if you know him, you know you could probably eat off his garage floor. He shows up and his cam straps look like this. And I thought, you know, self, it's time to get serious about the cam straps. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to keep your cam straps organized so you don't look like a beater at the takeout and the put-in. All right, so basically you have a cam strap here and most time I would just ball it up and throw them in the truck or in a bucket. And I have probably, well, I have several, several pairs of these for when I go on the long trips and we wanna get everyone's stuff tied down on the trailer. But I know you use the roof racks too, and most of you out there probably have to deal with this every time you go out. And just keeping these organized is a pain in the rear, especially when they're just everywhere. So here's how you do it. These have the simple little uh, protector uh, webbing sewed on. Um, if they don't, it's fine. If they do, it's fine. Just fold that back out of the way so you have your actual cam strap buckle exposed. And what you wanna do is take the buckle and make sure that there's no twists in this webbing. Come all the way out to the end, and that way you know it's all straight. And you actually feed that through this big area here, this underneath thing. Not where you feed it to lock it in, but you feed it through right there, if you can see that. Feeding through that open gap back on itself. And you wanna give yourself about a foot to 15 inches that should be plenty all right making sure that little extra fabric is back out of the way you just take this now again out to the end so that you have no um folds on itself or no twists rather and there you go like that all the way at the end no twists now i am here the buckle stays in my left hand and the loop end is in my right hand. When I get to that point, I could actually drop the buckle now and I start folding to the left. And this ensures you're folding it the right way. It's an easy fix if you do this wrong, you just unfold it and roll it back the other way. You just keep rolling it on itself all the way to the end of the cam strap. And as you see it coming up there, there we are. Now it's rolled up on itself and you have that tail still out. Here's where the magic happens, everyone. If you can see this, throw that back over. So if you can see your cam straps there, that goes back the other way, wrap it around, and now you feed it through the working part of the buckle. You see what's happening here? And then kind of maybe work it a little bit to make sure that coil is tight. And then you just cinch it down. Look at that. It's like magic. That'll change your world right there. If you have a little tail, that's fine. You can kind of play with it depending on the length of cam strap you have. The longer cam strap, the more tail you need when you start rolling. Um, these are 12s, so I could probably gotten away with like 10 inches, 12 inches, but I don't mind a little extra. It's, it's just better than the annoyance of having not enough. So yeah, there it is. Let me do it again with the cam strap that's not black. And uh, in case you couldn't see it because of my hoodie, be right back. All right, got this a red cam strap this time. We'll do it all over again. This has the little rubber protector, kayak protector on it. And it also has a neoprene sleeve that goes over that. I don't much care for all the neoprene and whatever. So we'll just pull that back. That exposes the buckle. Hold this in your left hand. Come out with the strap. Make sure there's no twist in that strap. When you get to the end, you run it back again through this open area here. You see that not where you run that to strap your boat, but down below. Pull it through and that's about 14 inches. So now I grab both pieces of webbing, 
and come all the way out to the end so that there's no twists. And then I start rotating it to the left. And we'll just keep going here. It rolls right up. I got my little rubber stop down so it's not in the way. So when you get to here, you take that tail, flap it back the other way, come all the way around your loop, run it where you run it to strap it down. You run it through the actual buckle this time. And once it's kind of in there, kind of give it a couple twists to kind of cinch that spool up. And then golden. You can twist it, throw it in the air, let it hit the ground. Steal together. Come on, huh? So that's today's pro tip of the week, how to keep your cam straps organized so you don't look like a beater at the put in the takeout with tangled mess. Always remember, friends don't let friends cam strap and tangle. Go out there, make sure you know what you're doing, teach a friend, show them the video, and let's, uh, let's look like professionals.